go, 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 go. Hey, listen up to your little DJ. In the mix. Little mama, show me how you move it. Go ahead, put your back into it. Do your thing like it ain't meant to it. Shake, shake, shake that. Now you just saved my life. DJ Hero is a completely new experience in music gaming. We've got over 100 licensed tracks, stuff that you'll be familiar with, but you've never heard mixed in this way before and you won't hear in any other game. Besides having a whole group of DJs in the studio in London, we started to work with people like DJ Shadow, AM, Z Trip. We wanted to give people this opportunity to live the life of a DJ, being the life and soul of the party, and that's why we focused on a single turntable and a mixer with a crossfader. The other big innovation for us was actually sticking the gameplay buttons on top of the platter. And what this did is actually freed up the other hand to get involved in some more of the real DJ moves involving the crossfader and stuff that's on the mixer. We use a note highway in the same way Guitar Hero does, but where we start to differ, instead of adding streams or additional highways for difficulty, we start to bring in actual DJ moves. So like in easy mode, for example, you're only ever on the turntable platter, you're only ever pressing buttons, you can hold and scratch whatever direction you want to do, and that will play the scratch effects for you. In medium mode, we start to bring in the crossfader. The harder you get, the thing you're doing in the game is more in line with what that DJ actually does in real life. The main gameplay piece on the mixer section is this crossfader. So this is how you play different records in the mix. The other two uh, elements on this side, we've got the effects dial, which is this one here. This is DJ's version of the whammy bar. You'll have certain sections marked up in the game where you can just pitch up and pitch down and lay effects over it. So it's kind of like a bit of a freestyle element. The other thing is the euphoria button. This is our version of star power. One of the final big pieces of innovation for us on this is we wanted players to be able to play this however they want. If they want to scratch with the buttons out here, they can do. The game will pick up and it will adjust the highway to suit. But also you can flip the mix around. And it's as simple as unlock it, pull the two apart, clip that back together, lock it off, and we're now set up for left-handed play. The main mode, single player, you just kind of unlock tracks as you go. You've got Z-Trip, AM, Shadow, Grandmaster Flash, Jazzy Jeff. But then other game modes where we start to bring multiplayer in, you've got DJ head to head, so you're both playing the same track, as soon as you can score the best. We decided we wanted to give the Guitar Hero fans, the guys that have all those guitars, something to do. So we've got this co-op mode where your buddy's just jamming out on the guitar and you're actually mixing his music in whilst you're mixing in another track as well. And all of those modes are available online. Music being the focus of DJ Hero and us wanting to create this party vibe, we designed a mode which is just like jukebox mode. You can literally set up a playlist that can just be playing at your party. Everyone can be enjoying this awesome music that they're familiar with but they've never heard mixed this way before. And if they want, they can just walk up and join straight in and start playing it. Whenever we give someone a copy of the game and they start playing it, within seconds they're like, heads going and they're dancing and everybody else is as well. So I think it's that infectious music thing that's going to make everyone just go crazy. Thank you.